King out. Are they going to scan? Th they're waiting for someone to come in close, but it's going to be Bobaka again. He'll break the smoke, instantly dust up, and he will go down. So at least you get something, but it's not what OG wanted. Yeah, smoke that coil, so he almost caught XSS in that coil. He didn't want to turn and cast a coil behind him. He wanted to cast it in front of him, and because of that, he narrowly, narrowly missed. The they mag. fortify up. You're still not ready to find with OG. You're just short of it. There's not even 100 gold to get that Radiance up and running. The tower denied up. No tail. Able to get that one, but S4 pops a full only slash from the Juggernaut. Still get a tower than I, and OP committed most of his mana to try and go on Fly. Fly only got down to half HP during that. It's just so damn good. Hello, Fly. Welcome to the lane, and Fly, welcome to death. The yeah, Observer Ward was there, they just saw him come in and waited with the trap. S4, however, looking for some revenge. He hasn't managed to bring down the Ricky just yet. It's OP who's the primary target. Concoction, it cannot be disjointed. That's why Jerex can just roll forward, look for another silence or kick it. What's he got? He turns on the Magnetize instead. OP, one more jump available. He gets back to where the T1 tower used to be, but now in comes S4. Over from the side. Q, is it time for the Rock? He's got the Golem available. And now OG, they have to switch targets once again. Q just wants to TP out this one. He's not going to drop the Rock. And Instead, it's moving towards XXS. The stun, the silence. Where is that stun? It's going to miss. He only hits the silence and Anna, no mana. So incapable of throwing out another concoction. Wow, that was a huge play by uh, Q there. He got the fade. Any maneuverability of S4. Yeah, that's going to end in death. Fly. Uh, he'll get a quick disruption off, but it doesn't stop the inevitable. OP will take the kill and he'll take the bounty rune. Move from them. That Blink RP is still just itching to be used. The question is, do they find a target? The Observer Ward is still watching the farming around the Ancients, but S4 has the Invis rune. He was looking for original kill, and now Phase Shift, Orb, and Blink away. Destroys the gank that was coming in from IG, but OP wants to keep going. Fly, hack, turn around, help out S4. Defense disruption will be there, and as Puck will come back in, burning, spinning. S4, he can't Blink away, but he can all up at the oh, shot. Oh, that was reason perfectly. The Observer Ward gave them absolute clarity. The vision-wise, jumped the gun a little bit, but better safe than sorry is generally the motto. Mm -hmm. Although that time he was safe and sorry. <laughs> Tirak is certain. He knows the Ricky is down there. He threw a sentry ward in the tree line and uh, wasn't able to find him. But Alchemist will TP up. They have one last second left on the sentry, and they got small amounts of vision on the Ricky headed north. So, well, Bobaka takes the bounty rune. And now wants to initiate another sentry waters down, so he goes into the tricks of the tray. But concoction, Anna never got it off in time. He actually ends up stunning himself, and Bobaka still on the run. Are we really coming back to this? The dust isn't even. Oh, it is in range. It clipped him on the edge, but because it's nighttime, they don't see him. He'll hold in the tree line and TP away to safety. They're coming again. Remember that Observer was not really seeing that much for Invictus Gaming. It's the vision. Okay, a, a dust from Jirax. He's hoping to find the Ricky scouting out. Knows that he's not, so maybe they should jump in. No? Okay, they go on an illusion. Invictus Gaming, the pump, he jumped into the middle of the first screen. The ball star mount, the rock will fall. That's why well, able to get both of his combo off. So maybe the control will still be there with a kick flying in from Jirax. Opie is burning. The guy is everything off, and no tower will fall. He can turn on the magnetized heavy damage from both sides. A quick denial from OP, so OG wouldn't even get the kill for that one. They've lost three. The Stormer is, is already back to the world of the living. No one else going to follow through on this one. Not from OG, because they really just don't exist anymore. Oh no, that was a disaster coming out from the puck. As you mentioned, just blinking right into that silence. And he was probably pretty pleased with himself that he managed to bait out so many spells, but... Deny afterwards and the healing ward managed to top them off so they were able to claim that T2 and now OG oh there's no big ultimates yet 70 seconds left on the rock 25 seconds left on the Magnus ultimate and Fly is just causing issues on the side looking at OP S4 is going to silence him too and that will be a decent amount of damage if OP takes the damage from the dream call he won't do it however just more lightning away trigger shrine be ready to fight again before no tail is able to finish up this tier 2 tower. RP's up in 8 seconds. Let's see Magnus can being get... initiated on a quick turn away. He won't be able to survive this one. Or will he? They attack the 4-star board, but there's no extra phase shift. S4 down to 44 seconds. Now Anna, he's going to stun himself again. He couldn't find a target. Burning was spinning in front saying, what's he going to do, bro? You can't do anything apart from die to Invictus Gaming as they go for more. XXS on the front lines. He's able to pick up an X1. Now it's no tail versus the world. down for OG, overstaying their welcome, and now Roshan will go the way of IG2. Jeeva's got his done, Anna looks elsewhere, but okay, there's a lot of TPs coming in. Bobaka, 
Well, he'll see Nurtog coming down. Might think it's an illusion, but they jump up. There's just smoke screen and the double silence. Alchemist can't do anything. Locked with the tricks of the trade with the Fuser Blaze Sars, the TP out, Omni Sides, the damage, and oh, he'll get out, but S4 sacrifices himself for the Alchemist to survive. Wow, that was such a big play by S4 right there. Oh my god, getting that blink waning rip to stop the RP. Oh, Bobica jumps up into dust and silence and goodbye. Ricky is down for a good minute, so they go into the Dream Call. Burning tries to get out of this one. The stun will trigger even through that immunity. That's the bonus of that upgrade. And Burning on the run. Anna, it's now the time when you can actually stun something. He preps it up. The Sun's a little bit out of range there for S4. Two seconds, half a second. The Rock will drop, and Anna will actually stun himself again. Fly will have to save him with a disruption. OP triggers the BKB, goes inside the base with no tell. Already triggering off Metamorphosis. They want to do damage. No Ricky for 30 seconds. And normally that wouldn't be that big of a thing, but in this game, it's, it's huge. OG is the first big opening they've got to do damage inside the base, but be careful of the RP. You're ending up in XXS's world now, especially when Alchemist walk it up, silence up. There goes your first man to push back out for the RP. It'll catch two. Drag him in. It's S4 plus no tell. The phase shift will end up saving one, but no S4 will die as he comes back out. No tell. Where's your extra help? Just keep spamming more illusions. But they've done the damage, they've taken the tier 3 towers out at least. They just have to get out in their current state. Not bad at all, not bad at all for OG. They were to get there. Like, it would be nicer for OG if they could go in and take out that Roshan Shrine the Radiant have. But they can't, they don't have the confidence to do that either. Radiant, as you scan the nodes, are sitting on top of the Shrine right now. Oh, jump forward, a long jump in! Finding Fly, OP finds the target! Burns half of his mana pool to do it, but he'll still have a little bit more left to fight against Dotel. Those plus no charges allowing him to regenerate Anna, bringing in the stun, able to hit the rock wall fall. But can Burning do enough with his BKB now trigger? Same for OP. They stand their ground, but it's up against the Alchemist. Good regeneration for him, not to mention the Dream Call causing problems, but they jump in again. Another silence as Alchemist has been dragged away by Jirak. It's a saving grace. Omnicide trying to do its work, but disruption is there. The Juggernaut, he hasn't really achieved enough. He'll end up killing off the Earth Spirit. So there goes the Save for OG, and they're just trying to retreat, but the RP! Oh, and the heart will be shredded apart! XXS, he got the glorious oh, polarity out, and it has to fight back. They need to keep this contest going. XXS will die for his sins committed against the OG Tribunal. Burning wants to keep running. Another concoction stun. They are going to bring him down. These are going to be big kills. Burning going in for the spin. Anna, they're actually trying to go for doubles here, but with the help of S4, he is able to get it. Uh, 882 gold for that kill on Burning. He's worth a lot, but so is this base opening up and out around Roshan. And let's see it again. Anna, Fly, and Notel, they all just wanted to go home. He is really good about the turn back, too. He gets it almost every single time on that. It would be very difficult for IG to continue a chase against OG. It would be very good against Juggernaut if he didn't have the blink already. Normally, here comes Bobica. The Thorn, what's he going to find? And he'll find Notel. A perfect smoke screen. Okay, you ain't keeping any distance. Fly is obliterated. Nurtal wants to keep fighting, but he is being stalked. They'll trigger the Lincoln Sphere. The kick, it connected. The concoction's on his wall, burning his force to go into his spin. As they clear up the illusions, Anna running himself forward, wants to do as much damage as possible. The Fuse Blade will hold him inside the smoke screen, trying to mana style, dodge back out, tricks the trade can be very ineffective, as Nurtal has triggered up his Metamorphosis, burning is not too healthy, the kick flies through again, it won't hit any targets for the Dream Call, they're keeping Magnus out of this fight for the moment, they're trying to bring him down, the rock, the space is created, Q is so low, but he waited up the entire Dream Call, never had to take the damage, S4 still wants that kill, and he will claim it, the first casualty, it's going to be the Warlock, now the Golems, they're cleaning up the rest of the mess on the back lines here, OG. While front lines, it's a roll forward. Jirax found Bobica trying to escape. It will not happen. A small creep skip. No, it's just going to TP straight out. There's no Ricky, no Warlock. No buybacks available for either of them. They're taking the fight so they know they can at least trade. How and now they've got the vision, the blink, the hex. But Omnicide, how much damage will it do? The pullback, Earth Spirit can't do much more. No one, he's orchid it up, and no tell. Sunders on the burning, so returns the damage out. Fly will drop, but Anna's bringing in the concoction. He wants it on to OP, and he'll claim it. No tell, they focus the Storm Spirit down, and OP, he'll have to deny himself with the Bloodstone Charge. He'll be up very, very soon. Warlock dying on the back lines. It's oh. Q who finds the kill for that one. Excess estimated how late it was. Well, Flying Q. 
Uh, it really hasn't been Flyer's Day. This is almost unfair to play to show it. A lot, a lot to do, a lot to do with the Riki pick. Mm -hmm. Anna just keeps nudging in the waves, and with the help of Fly, this is starting to work. Okay, XXS. <gasps> Playing around with the RP. He can't blink forward, that's a bit of a problem. The Orchid is over on Fly. He can't save himself either, so Fly is down now for 30 seconds. A he's good, getting a simple pick disabled. off there from OP. And nice. Is he actually. Okay, he did consume it. So he's just shy of his 25. He does need that. 420 GPM. Man, badly. Fly needs something more. He's level 11 in this game. You're 50, 51 minutes in, and you got a you got a 0 11. We actually have a contender for the Malk Award at the moment. Well, Storm Spirit jumps in. OP phase shift from S4. He dodges it and gets the hex. OP's in trouble. Even with the storm, the rock will drop a great space, but the damage was there from Nortel. 42 seconds without the Storm Spirit and the uh, bash. Okay, S4 will lose his life. 98 seconds without him, but G Rax looks for the extra control. It's down towards Q. A double kill now for no tail and they want more burning is on the run Jirax, where's your control where's your vision it's the invis shadow blade of the magnus will allow him to survive he bkb it's or, max spawn time Every, just, everyone knows it it's, now it's only been 10 so it's not quite max respawn oh, oh the rp they find anna anna does have the regeneration up you'll see if he has enough damage the orchid keeping Jirax out of the fight but still the damage is not enough you've got him surviving flies get a little bit more to help out not to mention the perch throwing it down on burning the break he'll have to bkb trying to find anna still remaining healthy doesn't have any kind of armor to toggle through this one but no tell but no metamorphosis the damage is the scary and that's why burning straight tp out bobica may not be so lucky Jirax runs forward where's that kick it flies north they look for the hit on Q, it will not connect. He gets into the trees and just stays silent. Don't, oh no, Nurtel saw him. Did he? For a moment? No, nope, there's your run, now they'll see him. He subscribes to the Book of HY, HY, but S4, like, you try and survive. The Hex remains there. They hang around him. Q wants to just retreat, but they're playing with him. S4 in front and Q slowly and surely, they wait out the time. Q will still die here. There's nothing which prevents this. Straight into the... Why you just sent all the illusions oh, on him. OP. The Hex says Fall is there! OP trying to create space, and all he does is create space for OG. Burning has to commit. Drop down the puck. S4 does have buyback. That is not available for the Storm Spirit. And Anna on the run forward. Mantra illusions. Now they're going to look for at least the mid racks. XSS. It's risky to attempt it, and there, Jirax, a fresh Yule Scepter. They saw him coming, thanks to Sentry Ward, giving him the vision. Next, the illusions that were up, Roshan's down, no tell is the Aegis Immortal. A quick start on the Magnus, tricks of the trade. Ricky Maru on the wrong side of the river, and he'll be the primary focus now. Jumping back in front of Roshan, but there's sentries everywhere, detection everywhere. 80 seconds, again, in Vickers Gaming, a force to fight a man down, if OG want to push the issue. Another DD for OG as the Roshan reset. Now, so he doesn't actually need the GPM too much on the puck. It's pretty cool. He just wants to be able to control control the mag or control the storm. It's the most important menu up on our up on our screen right now. That buyback menu. The three cores from Invictus Gaming can all come back up again. And it's only 800 shy for Warlock and Ricky to pick up their buybacks. OP gunning for oh, Fly. A long jump out. Does he have enough damage? He should. Fly should pop from this one. The Orchid. I say the Orchid. It's a full blood bomb, but the Hex return. Rocks will fall, but it comes a little bit too late. Now it's OG on the aggression. XXS is forced back out. He's still stunned up. He got hit by the Dream Course. They can't turn around, just let Nampi go. But he'll have to do it. There's no other choice. On these sides, no tell. He's taking more of the damage. He's able to do it. The Agency model will burn. It puts the Metamorphosis back on cooldown. OP, there's your buyback. Looking for the target. S4 up and towards the end. The Yours won't save him. There's a big kill. 100 seconds without him and the RP. He's still got that control. OG's losing too many on the front lines. They get no objectives out of this. So much patience from OG, but more patience from Invictus Game. And oh, but it's might not be. I think IG just want to end this right now. So they don't have buyback on Storm. Yeah, they're missing their Magnus, however. He's still so far behind, so Burning isn't buffed. This is your other issue, or is he? Is it going to be the end of his Empower? So they're not clearing through quickly into OG, but without the Puck's initiation, Invictus Gaming have to feel a little bit more confident. 
So they're going to take a lot of T3 damage. The T3 opens up shrines, and mm -hmm. is that worth a buyback right now? Probably not for them, but not for the Terrorblade. When he's 21 seconds away, you just have enough faith in Anna to do the work. As a spray off the pretty cool. XXS so is looking for Jirax. Anna preparing the concoction. Have to stun himself once again. Burning can look towards it for the kick from Jirax, making it so Burning can't initiate. But that melee Rax is falling quickly. He goes six seconds until No Town is back up again. Rax is down, and Vickers Gaming. All they have to do is get out now. Burning with this without saving for buyback. That is either that or he's like, you know what? I'm okay, going he sold to get something. a kill. He, he sold his item and now he has he has buyback. Crap. He was only 200 gold short of it though. Uh, I I checked this thing. It said it's like 690, so he had to sell something fairly big. Okay. Oh, jump up. They look for the target. The Hex is going to be Jirax, the Earth Spirit in trouble. Alchemist TPing over, but will it still be enough for the blood form? The damage is there. In fact, now it's the Alchemist in trouble. Two minutes down. The disruption will allow that timing. It was the blink for the triple cut, the body, and the LP. That could be the game right there. Have IG done? Have they got game one against OG? Burning. He wants to put the nail in the coffin. No towel is back up thanks to his buyback. With the hex forward, you can smell it in the air. It's his biggest gaming. Your RP locking down No towel. Nowhere to run. Burning will hold it. Smoke screen. Nothing more to do. the tier 3 talents but Used the Invoker Shrine. Oh, no, he, no, 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 he's, he's even trying to bait the last hit out. And he still got it. Yeah, he still. It was Bobaka who actually claimed it. But now, with the battle, Anna brings him the call snap. Bobaka has to put down the smoke screen. But one more attack. Bobaka's so low. Oh, he goes in this! So close to death. The Bobaka will TP out once again. Strike. Child and well, rotation in from Q. They get the life strike array. Anna tries on the sun strike. No Q will walk in with the damage from the tower. Not enough, to be, not enough to bring him down. Invictus Gaming, they're all over OG like a hot rash. Oh man, Boboka. One on the CS board, so. On that front, you're still getting a hell of a lot, especially when this happens, the Sunstrike will miss the timing. S4 still has double edge, but he doesn't have to use it, so Burning will lose his life on the offlane. He was just way too close. He just straight got hit by a hoof stomp. But that's not generally something that you want to oh, do as Anna, a Spectre. Real troubles. The smoke screen is down. He's going to get out of range of it. But with both Laguna Blade plus the Fae Bot, the damage is too high. They trigger off the dust, and there's not enough real damage, even with Fatal Bonds connecting them. Q's not taking any more hits, Bobica's still revealed, Malifus, you have like, Unless no look, no doesn't have a spin TP available, he's got 17 seconds before he can use that. But with only one creep underneath the tower, no tell. oh he jumped out, he'll have to spin to commit to this one, or does he? The pickup is there from Q! There wasn't enough mana, the mango charge was available, Stampede will be used just to get no tell out of jail. Wow, that was almost a sick play from Bernie, he spaced himself almost perfectly in between himself and the creep, so that it could have just killed the creep oh, and not the spin with Cold Snap. They need to keep the vision over on Bobaka, but he could just jump for the Sun Strike Bobaka! Too fast! Oh, Too man. furious! Yeah, and that, it was a big issue that he didn't have enough damage in the black hole. Mm -hmm. Sun Strike came out and it hit before, but 
no one was actually there to follow up with a black hole. Well, that's a wonderful regeneration rune that lasts maybe 0.01 seconds, thanks to Pobico once again being on the front lines. Bottom lane is where we want to be looking right now, however. TPs have already come down there, and uh, okay, maybe with a jump forward, they go for the Sunstrike. Q's going to walk directly into it. A little bit more damage thanks to Malifus. Q will end up falling, but it's the jump out with the rock down from Fly. You've lost Burning too. Where's your extra stun? No tail gets pulled away with the skewer, but he body blocks up X XS. He can't run away with all that spin damage going to work. You can at least jump out. There's no shrine damage, but you've got Laguna Blade. No tail. Regrets to follow through, the rest of his team wasn't with him and the survivor build it just wasn't there either for him. That fly, does he want to commit the sentry? He will. Observer and sentry is down, Bobica doing the wrap around. It's the Ricky dance. And that observer ward is right outside Dyer's sentry ward. Oh boy. Boboka knows something's funny is going on, they're keeping in Rubik from the top side, Magnus from the... Okay, oh, we thought he was actually going to come in from the bottom. But, no, they're just going to walk in. This will bring them underneath the Observer and Sentry of OG. But the pickup from the Rubik, Spectral Horn forward. The Cloud will actually separate them. G-Rex in a three-man hole. But where's the follow-up? No tell. Wants to come in. Starts off the spin. The damage can be on the Q. The Horn stop. Perfect from S4. Catching out two. So the RP will finally be able to connect. Skewer him up. Light Strike around. Bring him to the knee. OP with a double kill, S4 still wants more with a double edge and damage from Anna. They need a little bit more damage than that, but they don't have any life strike array. Stopping S4, OP up to get a range of the shrine. He's regenerating up quickly. Anna on the run, definitely blast, can't create up space. When they kill up by the shockwave, S4 comes up to life strike array. The triple kill for OP. Positioning is spectacular. That was a this is the reason why both Ben and I were flagging just how great that is from XXS. And also, they're much better about using their shrines this game in well, OG. No tell. He just goes for it. There's help here. The rock won't fall. And the fellow Bonds getting over on two. It looks like OG's going to get some freebies in the mid. Nice OBS ward and Central Ward placement. I, they definitely did not expect that play from No Tail right there, just mm -hmm. gunning for them as soon as that hit. Of course, the Stampede probably caught them off guard, right, too, now but they were not ready to fight. They're trying to run forward. Jirax, Malthus comes off cooldown right now. Burning's making his way forward. Jirax's going to give them a bit of a stun, but as Q with the Fade Bolt will find the kill. Nice grab, Laguna Blade as well. The spin, the damage is big from No Tail. He's going to focus down towards Burning. Bobrick at the Sun Strike. He doesn't run back into it, neither does Burning. In fact, Bobrick goes in. He goes aggressive, looking for the kill over on No Tail. It's not going to happen, however. Both teams will back up. No one pushing the mid lane. There's no one. Okay, we'll now get a little bit of a vision of Spectre farming up the bottom lane, but it's Anna. He's the main target. There it is again, but the pickup! He was skewering him back. It still will be enough damage to find the kill. Alacrity stolen as well. The Fate of Bonds connects all four heroes of Invictus Gaming. They didn't even have to commit hot. That dire observe ward planted by IG near the Radiant Ancients. They see a lot more, but the Omni Slash OP completely isolated. Oh, there He's goes up. some more Bloodstone charges, but thanks to negative 30 seconds, plus the Bloodstone charges, he is already alive again. That's two ultimates. Not only the Omni Slash, but the Stampede as well, and that way in the back. Yeah. Close to the Ancients. And so. they, haven't, they haven't seen him run away yet, but thanks to the tree line, they don't actually see a hell of a lot. That tree needs to get cut down, and they now see the first thing, which is fly. But smoke will break, XXS still looking for the initiation, S4 jumps in, the skill will drag him down, the RP, catching two, plus the stray stun over onto the Centaur. No Stampede available, they're still stuck inside the smoke screen. Warlock will fall, S4 will join him, hope he's so low, no time's coming out of the road, sharp pit, the life record, Ray holds him there! The Soul Strike, OP, what's that? OP gets a triple kill and Invictus Gaming, they can do no wrong! That Observer Ward though, and the skin, it hit onto IG, they were smoked, but Lena was not smoked. So they actually just thought it was Lena. Like, oh man, what a waste of scan. And they weren't prepared for that sort of fight. They also did not have Stampede Disengage. Juggernaut did not have the Omni Slash. And the Lena talent is a really big deal in this situation because they, they didn't have the spells that they needed to close out that fight cleanly. Sean, TP support is on the way, but that Observer was further to the east. So OG have better information that this is coming. But, but every ulti is up, so smoke will be there. The smoke will break, Spectral Haunt comes out. You've got to keep your eyes on Roshan. Fly drops the rock in the Fellow Bonds will connect up OP as well as XXS. So they can't blink in, so they come out to fight. Roshan's still so low, but so is Burning. He can't get out to Midnight Pulse. The concept doesn't work, but Burning! He's still alive on the hill! OP will start doing the work! The RP will hold him there! You can't even kill him! Oh. OG lose four, they lose Roshan! OP denied himself again to heal up Burning. He's done this so many times throughout this tournament. OG oh. get rolled inside the Roche Pit. That was probably the most perfect haunt timing that you can have.
And he's with the spin. Now it's Jirax. He can't black hole. Look he's at actually those caught Aquilas. by the smoke once again. And what do you do, Jirax? Okay, he that... can't even get the kill. Tricks of the trade will get the kill. But no tell. He'll jump in. The pickup is there from the Rubik. Burning wants to keep fighting. Now the only Sash will do his work. His spinning Q, however. No tell has to try. Now Burning is still alive. The Sun Strike will finally put him down. But three seconds and the man is back again. Aegis to the Immortal. Second life. Nothing of value is lost. A, A lot of damage with the Empower. It's... He has 200 damage. Last Whoa. game, I was talking about him having a lot. He was a little below 200. XXS, OP, Invis Rune's gonna find him. Starts the Light Strike Array. Doesn't matter if you're agility up. Where's your control? Jirax. He's got the black hole, but he can't do anything. Nurtel trying to spin away. You've already got the kill on Adam. S4's gonna join him. Skewing back over. Cooper control him up, but it's inside the base. It's burning and a triple kill. It's burning, not actually getting a burger cut. No, 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 no. You do not get to have yourself a rampage. Instead, it's the Laguna play to pick up. Everyone's wiped from OG, and they would love this nightmare to end. But even if they do, if they tap out now, you know it's 2 0 in favor of IG in this best of five finals. That's how you punish greed. OG are like, they think they can get away with a jungle enigma, but not when Bobok is in the house. And everything's turning on him. The IG team, their own heroes could turn against him, and now oh, this God. crowd is going to start to get to OG. You might have been able to keep your calm, your collective after game number one, saying, you know, it's all right, guys. Like, that was a good game. It was nice and close. This game, IG, they'd be styling. And Notel wants to go again. A quick smoke up. Where's your attack? The Omni Slash Ford. OP takes the damage. The Hot Stopper won't connect, but the Sun Strike, it also doesn't connect. They can't hit these damn abilities. Fly is dying right now to the Ricky Maru. Bobaka is trying to go ham, but he will finally be brought down. Notel will get the 775 gold for it, but you've lost your mid ranks as well as your melee. Top first range group tonight. Yep. So I think that IG preemptively prepare for that, but how could they see Wait. the lanes coming? They had the Good Riki. luck, Dotel. S4's coming down for the room, but because there, it's just done. It's just murder on the dance floor. There goes another one, and it's gone. And you're going to lose the Omni slashing uh, Juggernaut too. It's... Three heroes gone, two of them without buyback, and the line is drawn for IG. Go down mid, rotate. Yep. They have, I think, the decision to go for the Midas over the mech uh, on Jerex might have been a little bit hasty uh, for him just because they weren't even strong enough to do the team fight. Oh my oh, he god. Yeah. Again. Yeah. That, this GG. is GG in Victus Gaming. Two games. ...where you're not going to have much chicken access because he's in a safe lane. But it does allow him to go this one-on-one -on -one matchup with the Legion Commander, so it's, it's the aggressive lane from OG. It's not ideal, though, versus the Legion, because you have two units hitting you, so double the chance of proccing Moment of Courage. Mm. And Boboka harassing Arana. That's no fun at all. No, this is this is not fun at all, but it's bottom lane where the initiation's happening. Jirax getting on to Q. Fly went for early soul assumption. and won't be enough damage, or will it? Jirax gets the last swing in. So it's not there to help him out, and it would take two raises for him to pop that it's, shield. It's pushing the lane too, but Anna is really low. Now, well, Anna gonna get attacked, rolling Boulder. He'll dodge it. The Earthspirit will go up into town. He's gonna get the courier as well. Will he Burbicon? He'll lose his life. The courier will survive. That was an expensive courier as well. It had boots. It had a lot of other things on it. And Anna ended up getting the kill because of the tick from the flame guard. Anna coming in too. Oh, that's a big rune. An invis rune. They're going to find burning, but they don't want them. They actually are moving up towards Warlock. It's a lot more of a guaranteed kill. Anna not committing anything too heavily. They may be fair to bond up together, but Anna going for the kill he knows he can get. And we see fly stuns. At the same time, we're now reaching a point where IG can feel a little bit more aggressive. In fact, XXS, you can see Nurtel. He knew it was coming with us down on top of the shrine. The damage is high. You'll lose the Monkey King. And now in comes Ember Spear. The Searing Chase hitting hard. SF's already going to go down. Bobacom may join him. as a triple kill for Burning. Just sitting on the tree line doing all the damage with Q to support him. You will be able to get that second kill. So Anna picking up Bobica. But can he get out? Burning and Q are with him. Anna needs he has just a range for the spirit, so burning. If he can do it, there's your spirit away. But the other side of the river, well out of range of the swap. Expect a gank from that. Dyer has you scanned. They expect it from the right side. This could be a disaster for No Tail. They at least know. So no, nothing's appearing on the right side. No Tail knows he can hide out back past the tower. Let the bear do the work. 
while no one's showing themselves on bottom lane. That's where Monkey King is. You don't have to fight this one. Another entangle, so he has to press the attack a little bit earlier. The flies moving in too. So they're here ready for the fight. The Ember Spirit jumping in. The Spirits won't do the damage. They're stunned very quick with the swap. No tails low. Savage draw might cause problems. Bobica out of rolling ball to fall. So no tail will fall. The burning may be a casualty of war too. Fly, is there another burst damage with the Spirits fall? Yes, there is. XS is also trapped in the tree lines. Soul Assumption up for Fly. Not enough man to actually use it, however, but it won't matter when Anna will come in for the double kill. They're really committing more into the Ember Spirit now. 4 1 2 for him. Perfect jump. But coming in at the right time, and Radiant Side, they thought they could get the duel onto the Lone Druid before he died, but no dual damage yet for XSS. And IG will have to search for other ways to increase his damage. I guess they have Vanish and President of Dark Lord, so. Being under farm is not the worst thing in the world. You need levels more than anything else, I think, on their heroes. All coming in for the shrine. The spirit jump forward. OP forced to go towards the left. Jirax jumps up to fall back down again. They'll interrupt. So no big raise, no big damage. And SF will die again. This armor, make that a third with the solar crest. They want to be able to fight inside the pit, which Warlock excels. We already saw that big play from Super earlier. And I wonder if Warlock, although having no points in upheaval, can rival that sort of play. That's a lot of damage to the mid T1 town. OP's able to take it, but that's top lane. XXS being initiated on by Jirax. No tells there, but with the press of the attack. Overwhelming on, sorry, Jirax forced to get out, but the swap is there from burning, and we have ourselves a winner with the duel. First bonus points of damage, not to mention friends have arrived. Rolling Boulder will clip. No tell the way out. So Victus Gaming, not only do they take the mid tier one, they get two quick kills from lane. They now don't have really great vision, so they'll have to move in in force, which they're actually doing. Under the cover of smoke, IG looking to wrap around the back of him. Jirax is nearby. He'll break the smoke on XXS. They know. They jump through, and they think he's in the tree line. That's why Earth Spirit cuts it down. And it looks like the but smoke will be popped, and XSS, the yeah, XSS is already revealed. S4 is in trouble, however. There you go, your quick press, the attack, jump forward. Duels over on S4, familiar drop down, won't create enough space. S4 already pushing up the daisy, the jump forward, the kick, won't be able to connect on the rock. Uh, won't be able to connect on the tree that Jirax was jumping off. But it's still a very difficult place to fight. Uh, again, it's the fake tree. Do they know? How well do you know your Dota map? He knows it very well. Jirak goes in for the Wukong command. The double stun, however, may cause enough problem for the rock. Here with the double stun, Burning was pulled into it, but it's accidental. They die at the same time. OP will let the Requiem go. So less damage being done. The Wukong command still stayed up for a long time, and Nurtal can't survive. They just don't have the damage output in order to bring down IG. My god, how, they are so used to playing to the Monkey King. That is ridiculous that they were able to spot that out so quickly. They also had the Observer War on left side. I think he might have been able to see it on the minimap because of that. God, he was one trade yeah. away from getting his tree chopped <laughs> down. Ember Spear is still struggling a little bit. No Veil picked up yet. Oh, they they want to pick if they can get it. S4, Blink, the call. This will be something nice with a double damage rune. They have the extra damage, and S4 gets the Culling Blade off. They don't. And they are they're pretty tanky and pretty hard to burst down. Ooh, they before. got friends here. S4 potentially can blink. Bobica also going to come in range. And the Creep Wave arrives. So they get the double call up with the Creep Wave and the Wukong command following into a double stun. Great movement from OG. A double kill for S4. Oof. After the pickoff on Burning, they transition this into heavy tower damage. What a sick play from Jerex. Jerex is playing this Monkey King very, very well, scouting out with the vision. This and now he gets another side. Yep, constantly He actually annoying. sees OP moving into the familiars, trying to create more space. Stun number one, Jirex fell off the tree, so he doesn't have his stun available just yet, but Ember Spirit, Ana comes in. Where's your extra damage? Jirex misses on the double stun. He was looking for Q, and it's like burning. We'll swap him back in. Two hits from OP is more than enough to deal with that pesky little monkey, and the jump out. Ana has the Spirit, and Spirit again to get out of this. They already got the... Not great for them. It is. Actually, was that a TP to the bottom shrine? It looks like it. Only level one president of the Dark Lord on them, but this Roshan's going down pretty fast. Is at about a third HP right now. How are they going to approach this? Warlock ult you, you, is you still see up. They know he's up there. Bobica's trying to take out the trees. The jump back out for the Monkey King. You know something is coming, Anna. Does he spirit in? How many of those are even left? Jirax jumps away, still fearful. His trees can be brought down. No tell. Moves in. The bear they have to see inside the pit. The resummon familiars. They're looking on top of Roshan. The stun! Roshan bashed and set for the time the initiation happened! The kick through! And there is the agency model! It was killed off by OG! The Kalim will be there for the Requiem Assault! It's causing troubles, but not as much as the Wukong command. So your Ember Spirit back to life. He'll steer in chains up. So Exodus cannot steal the Invis rune. It's Anna who will take it and fly. Looks for his target. Bobica might be the easiest one. The Monkey King pouncing forward, but Bobica just rolling boulders away. But no! The turnaround! He'll fight!
find one. The Blade Mail is up. Fly does not want to hit him. The Familiar tries to create space. Anna still stalking them, however. He's got the Searing Chains back up again. Fly with a slow. Familiar's back up, but it'll go down as well. But at least OG coming down the mid. The BKB on OP. This will be the 10 second one that he really wants to damage down this mid racks with, if it's possible. Venge spear, Ventral Spear's position is going to be key over S4 here. S4 gets the call off. They're holding OP there. VS gets a swap out for the rock. Perfect! With the seven fatal bolts! There's nothing OG can do! They're falling apart! The stun! Maybe there is! Jurex throws the ult out. The Wukong's command is going to sit right on the edge of it. Covered by the tree. So at least pick off the golem. Nabasha is stunning over on Bobica. He can't get out of the pit, but Jurex is tied to the magnetite. Bobica will survive with stick charges. Three down for OG. The buyback comes out from Fly. But now it's up to Fly and no tell. IG are ready to storm into the base. I really like the way they're seizing the high ground, though. Buff up the Shadow Fiend, press the attack, Solar Crest, why not? Shadow Word, just everything onto the Shadow Fiend. Oh, the perfect kick. Is there a follow-through? Nope, they're focusing on the racks for now. The bear comes in, Savage Raw. All they're trying to do is create a little bit of space. And they're going to get it. The tier 3 tower will remain up, and IG will pull out for now. No Tail has to be in a really good position to not get dueled. Are they going to play a different angle as well for that Monkey King? Because I'm looking for that. Yeah, he was sitting outside as a fake tree, hoping to go from the north side. He's been battling from the south side of this attack before. And S4, there's your taunt. They forced off him up. They're trying to bring the SF close towards the tier 4 towers. OP's in deep. The duel is out. You can say goodbye to the Monkey King, but OP has committed his BKB before the Agency Mortal is triggered. No buyback, however, available for Monkey King. So to clean up the creep wave. And try and hold these towers, no tower with the range damage. OP's fine with this. He's getting pressed the attack, he's getting more light, but here we go again. The call, the drag back, and searing chains. This will be the Agassi Mortal triggered off, but they need more. The melee rack is almost gone down. XXS will now move forward. He'll be locked in position. The blade mail is up, triggered his own BKB. There's no duel available, but again, another taunt. They hold the SF in position. The damage is done from IG. All they have to do is get out of here, and they're in a fantastic position. Q, however, he's the man left behind. Adam will not get the searing chains off. He missed the combination. So I... ...that he was able to OG. stop. Trying that. to be the aggressors. They just let the Wukong's command go. Lock in the SF. Triple Ramblin's being committed, but OP. The BKB won't save him, but the Magnetite is on the duel as well. Nowhere to go, but down for Anna. He'll be brought down. No tell on the run out of here as well. They have to go outside the Wukong's now, but no tell. More issues. The stuns are there for burning. Hold him in position. They're bonded together. The fate of OG is tied. As for the play mark, can't do enough work. No tell. The TB out. He still dies a fountain. Jurek took damage from Bonica. It was enough to find the kill! Flies in no man's land! He will be pushing up the daisies! And there's a triple kill for him! OG were trying something, a roll of the dice, and all that came up was snake eyes. One thing but to Warlock's see. But Warlock sitting on the back movement. lines, like he's not going to be the man to just, okay, well, I'm going to throw that in. So it's a tree sitting a little bit further up it's that's that's the monkey king he's the primary player here jirax lets the ulti go there goes your core play again the bash actually stopping op from going in deeper so jirax has to commit the secondary stun then they swap back out familiar dropped that holding burning there but he also has enough life to survive only just on the edge of the wukong's command and invictus gaming you gotta feel confident now uh oh no wukong's command that's their only source uh -oh, of lockdown <laughs> uh oh very much indeed they smoke up now, OG, how do you do this? It has to be the call of a lifetime now from S4. The, tri the pressure is on him. There goes your call. OP being dragged in. Familiar's right on top. They do a heavy amount of damage. There's your follow-up stun. But XXS just triggers his own BKB. Looking towards the racks. Can they control him up? OP as well as XXS. They just focus on that. Now S4 in again. Gets the call. Up on the rock. perfect. It'll break down the house. OG magnetized up. And really, they are losing this. OG will buy back heavy, but they've lost their melee racks up on the top. They need a consolation prize. S4, he's able to get the dunk down. So Bobrico will fall. No tell. Baby, no. Burning will swap him in. No tell. Run away. OP, too much damage. No tell. Don't be protected. He's gone. That's a die back from him as well. And S4, they just keep going. S4, jump in. Look for the spin damage. Get the triple kill. Holy crap. He got so many spins off. The damage is there. He dunks too early over OP, but Jirax with the basher. That's a wipe. That's a wipe. <laughs>
they really without Wukong's command, they just have no fight really. And I do how, oh. like how they were like, okay, let's just go for the wreck. They're not gonna fight us. No tails trying it. Q is standing his ground with the upheaval. No tails got the range on this, so he's okay with that. And Q, low on life. They just want him down. No tail. He's got the movement speed. Q starts the TP. Two hits from No Tail. He savage draws to cancel it. So they'll at least get the consolation prize, which is Q. They should get the con. I get the ticket. Okay, they have the consolation prize. The uh, solar crest into the pipe, into the dragon lance, into the pipe. Whoa. Oh, Jerex. No, no, Roshan's done. Roshan's done when there was only two of them there. Did they actually cotton on to that fact? Now Jerex lets the Wukong command out. The three man's done. Flies on the way in. He'll jump up. Roshan's low. The kick is down. OP as the Aegis, the Immortal, and the taunt is there. There was a YOLO play from OG. But what choice did they have? IG, they are the unstoppable force. Burning will swap them back in. Savage Raw creates more space for Fly, but will be enough you're gonna lose your bear they stun they hold him in and it will jump up but now he's magnetized up 